So here's another question I got asked on Quora. Can I add more products and services onto my trademark after it has been filed? I'm Andre Medica, the founder of Trademark Factory, and here's my answer to this question. It's a very short answer, no. Uh, you can narrow it down after it was filed. Sometimes you can specify it, but to make it more specific, to make it narrower, you cannot add. What you can uh, is file another trademark with the expanded list. And uh, I know it could be annoying, but uh, you know, as your business grows uh, and you realize that there's something else that you need to protect that wasn't protected before, yeah, you have to file a new application. So, uh, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing uh, if you realize that you need to add something to your trademarking portfolio because it shows that your business grows. It's not a good thing uh, if uh, it's just an oversight and you realize, whoops, this application was supposed to have this, 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 and that, and we only added this and this uh, in our application and now we need to redo it so uh, and this is actually very important is whether you file your trademark on your own you have to ask yourself the question what am I going to need this trademark for today five months from now maybe two years from now I would I would probably say a good timeline is about two three years from filing you got to ask yourself what am I what might I need this trademark for then? Uh, and file your trademark for all those things. Whether, like I said, you do it yourself or whether you do it with a trademark attorney or with Trademark Factory, always want to make sure that you read the draft of the application before it's filed because nobody knows your business better than you do, right? So when we draft applications for our clients, of course, we make a bunch of assumptions. Well, you may need this, you may need that. We ask all those questions, and then we draft the application. We'll let the uh, brand owners go through them. Some of them are being very detailed and say, well, how about this, how about that? And I think, great, thank you for bringing this up. We would uh, reword this in the language that the trademarks office will accept and uh, give them the next draft to uh, sign off off of. Uh, and some, some brand owners are just like, yeah, you know, I don't want to read this, <laughs> you do it. Uh, that's not the right way to do it because like I said, we don't know your business as well as you do. So we want to avoid the situation when six months down the road, uh, the, the, the application gets approved in the US, for example, say great, uh, here's uh, your approved application, it will be soon allowed, will soon be registered. And then the client goes, um, hmm, are we protected for this? No. Why aren't we? Well, because we didn't know you wanted to, right? So we can't guess. So always, always, always read those drafts and make sure that you communicate with your trademark attorney. Uh, there's nothing shameful in asking, do we want to add this product? Do we want to add this service to the application? Why didn't you put that in? So, and the last thing you want is just to go through the you know classification and just add everything under the sun because it just shows that you don't have any clarity about what you're going to do with your business uh, you want to your application to be relatively specific to show the world that you know what you're doing now i hope that this answers your question and uh, uh, if you like this answer if you like this video, if you found it useful, subscribe now, get notified whenever the next one goes live. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.